Hello, in this part 3 of MOSFET drive, we are going to talk today about a full H bridge inverter with 4 N MOSFETs plus the driver IC 210, IR2104 and PWMIC TL494. This is TL494. These are the driver ICs IR2104. These two are 2104. And these are four MOSFETs in bridge. This is one. Uh, half of the bridge, this is another half of the bridge. This is a half bridge driver, this is a half bridge driver, and uh, that is how we make a full bridge by putting a transformer here and connecting it the, between these points to the transformer. We get the full bridge output, and this output is like this. We will let us first discuss about the circuit in detail, then we will go over to its understanding. Here we have the MOSFETs as in the bridge configuration we have discussed it before part 2 about the bootstrap capacitor and the diode to develop an uh, isolated voltage for the gate for the upper uh, MOSFET but this is an upper MOSFET this is also upper MOSFET and these are the ground reference MOSFETs so uh, that we have discussed this has one input this has one input in order to feel complementary input to these two so we have used a TL494. TL494 is a PWMIC and this PWMIC, the frequency is selected by the R and C. You can vary this R so that you can exactly get that frequency. So by this are the R and C, we takes care of the frequency. And then we have made some special arrangement here for changing the, the delay time or the you can call it dead band. So that what happens that this half and this half will not be switched on at any given time at a time when this this half is switched on this half is off when this half is switched on this half is off so that is what we will see how it happens more in detail but before that let's understand this uh, parameters of this ic the beauty of this ic is ir2104 is dead time is to 5 that is a dead time also we will discuss and that the dead time here also built in in this ic so what happens for that, the cross conduction prevention logic, this, this there is no, no cross conduction. We will understand what is cross conduction. And then it has got shut down as we have uh, discussed and other parameters as you can see it here. You can with about 600 volt offset voltage. But that's not the operating volt. This is the cross conduction feature which is provided by this IC, up bridge IC. Meaning, at if this is positive this is negative if this is negative this is positive but we had seen in the part 2 that at any given time both of them conduct the supply will be short circuited so to avoid that there is a cross conduction prevention by providing some dead time similarly it is also built in with the dead time because of that dead time at that time this both of them will not be switching off that's the biggest advantage and that is also being uh, done by some arrangement here. Now we have connected this yellow. This yellow is the output, and the, this uh, this is one input. B is one input. Blue blue is one input, and the red is another input to the oscilloscope. What we are seeing that is the output from this, and uh, the shutdown. Of course, we have discussed yesterday, but then still we will here we have inverted it by a transistor, and this shutdown can come maybe from the current feedback from the output or by some logic uh, circuits uh, for to take care of any eventualities where it, is, it has to be stopped. So the, uh, and the, the dead band control which I was trying to tell you is that if you can see this, you see this, what happens? The red, now if I shift the red, see there is, there is a dead band, there is a difference. There is a time difference here. You can find there is a time difference. But if I zoom it a little more, then perhaps you will see it a bit, little better. You see, there is a time difference between switching on and switching off of the one one set of the other. So that is the beauty of this particular advantage of this IC. It gives a dead band so that at a time both of them will not be switched off. Okay. Now the and the shutdown we had discussed yesterday. Now if I, this this is zero, that means this this is high high means there is no shutdown. And this becomes low, then only shutdown takes place. We are talking about the dead band control. Here we can do the dead band control as you can see. When I change it, 
you see how this timing is changing so let me let me let me bring it to the front and then we can see how the how the output is uh, doubled up uh, we discussed in the last part and here when you change the dead band here as you can see you see there is a if i shift it see that the dead band is increased now now if i bring it down the dead band will reduce or it will increase now see it is now almost coming in the same And the waveform becomes absolutely pure square wave, and there are chances that both of them will be switching on at a time. That's not advisable. So what we do is, when you change the timing here, you find there's a time difference between these two, and that is how the advantage is that both of both the half bridge also will not be switching on at a time. Neither both the half bridge will be switching on at a time, nor even the uh, half bridge uh, MOSFETs will not be switching on at the same time, because we are giving. complementary input here and complementary input here to the gate so uh, so this is an uh, inverter which is a schematic only this is still not the fully working model we will be uh, talking about the full working model with current feedback with uh, instead of uh, this uh, logic since which are so needed we will directly take a current feedback from here and see when the current increases what happens thank you